What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing a full day of eating, which I think is the first full day of eating video that I've done since I've been on prep, uh, which this is only the third video of like the prep series. But it's gonna be a full day of eating uh, where I'm at three weeks out. Today is Sunday and it's currently 7.30 in the morning. Um, we're just about to go do our first session of fasted cardio. Um, yeah, three weeks out yesterday um, from the show, which the show is only 20 minutes down from where I live, but I just went ahead and got a hotel room uh, just to make it easier so that I'm like already there. I don't have to worry about rushing to get to my tan on time and just all that stuff. So uh, with it being my first time, I can already tell I'm just gonna be like, overwhelmed and like stressed out and just try to make it as smooth sailing as possible so I think plus my brothers are gonna be coming and one of them is gonna stay in the hotel with me uh, so that should be pretty fun have have some help there also later well probably right after that after I eat I'm gonna come back and eat and then go and take you guys through a leg workout because today is leg day honestly slept like poo last night so energy might be a little low but honestly i feel i feel fine right now so we'll just see where the day takes us but definitely want to do like a full day of eating and i always suck at doing these videos because i'll make what i'm like eating i'll record it and i'll never post it so like i have all these videos in my phone of these like meals and they just never got posted so uh, i'm gonna try to be better on that but it's just me riding solo today so video might be a little a little boring <laughs> we got our water here We're gonna fill this bad boy up for the day uh, I'm trying to get like two of these in which is it comes out to like a gallon I suck at drinking water dude but honestly what they say about getting like the mom jugs or whatever you want to call these things it makes it so much easier to drink water and because I just sit here and Whenever I think about it, I just flip this up and I just chug and it makes it, I don't know why, I don't know what the psychology is behind it, but it works. It makes it easy to drink water. So definitely get you one of these things. It is 7.30 and we are gonna go do 30 minutes on the stairs. So I will see you guys probably meal one once we get back from cardio. All right, boom. Meal one is, so we have 35 grams of cream of rice, one, or well, half a scoop of rice, uh, vanilla peanut butter protein, uh, five servings of egg whites, and then some onions. I just threw the onions in there to give it some volume and some extra flavor, because that is the key to dieting, is volume, staying full and satiated, and flavor if you can make things taste good without throwing in a bunch of artificial crap then you're doing it right so meal one going down and then yeah go smash a leg workout so see you guys well yeah you'll enjoy the workout and then i'll see you for meal number two got our pre here going with uh raw the the freaking i can't think right now but it's uh Raw Nutrition uh, Essential Free uh, Watermelon, and then a scoop of the pump. Uh, I forgot the flavor. I think it's like blackberry lemonade or something like that. Uh, and then creatine. Um, so that's the stack for the day. I need to stretch so bad before, because like my hip, just from all the cardio that I've been doing, my hip flexors and my, my legs are just tight. Oh. Uh -huh. Dude, fuck you, you fuck. Also just wanted to make a public announcement that last night I ordered my uh, cookies off of my cookie dealer uh, com, I think is the website. But I ordered like five different flavors. One was like a chocolate brownie, one was a chocolate peanut butter, one was an Oreo, and then I think there was like a s'mores uh, cannoli on there, something like that. But I don't, they looked amazing, so I cannot wait to try those. Also trying to grow out the, the Seabum mullet. 
So it needs, it needs a little work, but uh, definitely got to clean that up before showtime. So, all right, I'm gonna chug this, go stretch, and then we'll get to it. shorter shorts than some girls in the gym here. Yo, what's up guys? I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Real quick, I just wanted to pop on here and kind of explain what I was uh, talking about in this clip because after watching it back, I didn't realize how loud the gym actually was and you can barely hear me. Uh, but I was basically just explaining how I like to put on my knee sleeves uh, in what I find is the easiest way because I see a lot of people struggle with this, including myself when I first started using them. Uh, but basically what I like to do is just flip it inside out, have the tag point up towards the sky, and then you'll put your foot into the skinny part of the sleeve like you'll see here um, and then you just pull it up your leg from there and then you should be good to go um, that way you're not sitting there in the gym trying to pull it up you know your sweaty legs and then you're sitting there for 10 minutes and you lose your pump and it's just frustrating because I've done that and it's it's just not good uh, but I hope this helped guys I hope you enjoy the rest of the video um, I'm looking forward to doing some more voice recorded workouts here soon so yeah peace Getting the legs a little nice and warm, you know? So for these, which you'll see, I like to get the uh, close grip row attachment and put this on the pit shark. And then that way it just takes out a lot of the accessory use in my back. Cause I have like, I have not back problems, but like my back will start to like stiffen up and get really tight and spasm. Um, so this kind of helps that. If you have any like lower back pain, you might try it, see if it helps. But it just allows me to like keep my lats engaged and stay everything, like keep everything tight my core tight and then really just focus on driving through depending on what you're working on whether it's glutes or hammies uh, I'm going to be going for a more like hamstring specific approach so it just allows me to keep that tension there and feel it in the hamstring so Well, boys and girls, we did not beat the church crowd. We we're at Sam's and this is madness, like literally.
Okay, boys and girls, we finally made it back home. I actually got home probably around 2.15, 2.30. It's 3.15 right now, and we're just not having meal number two. So what we're gonna do, <laughs> what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm absolutely dying. We're gonna combine meal two and three, which is not ideal, but I'm, my food is so low right now anyways. So for this meal, uh, number two and three, we're gonna have seven ounces of chicken breast, um, 105 grams of jasmine rice, 120 grams of broccoli, five ounces of 99.1 ground turkey, and then I ended up having a, so as soon as I walked in the door when I got home, I had a um, Oikos, Oikos, how do you say it, Greek vanilla yogurt. You guys saw with this meal, I'm going to have uh, glucose and a digestive enzyme from Revive, just to help keep everything flowing help my stomach move everything along and digest it and break it down so that I can, you know, so that my body can use it. Um, so that's gonna be it for this meal. You can see the macros on the screen. Yeah, I'm about to slam this shit, so. All right, boys and girls, this is meal number four. I left my phone over there, but it's pretty much the same thing as earlier, or it really is the same thing as earlier, except I'm just having ground turkey this time. So 99.1 ground turkey, five ounces, 105 grams of jabs, 105, bleh, 105 grams of jasmine rice, some lettuce, 120 grams of broccoli, some onions just for volume, lettuce is for volume, and some mustard and Taco Bell hot sauce, hot sauce. Um, that's it. So we'll have this, we'll have meal five here in a few hours. And it is currently 7.20, so we'll probably have meal five around nine. And then we'll have a little dessert snacky snack after that, right before bedtime. So excited for that one. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this. See you guys, meal number five. All right, so now what we're gonna do is this is gonna be like our little treat before bedtime, but it has to sit in the freezer for like an hour. So I'm gonna make this real quick. I just have some ice cubes and water and a shake, a magic bullet in a, in a cup. And then I've got this fiber from Revive. But we're gonna do a scoop of this, throw that in there. And then I'm gonna throw a scoop of this Daily Greens in there as well. Uh, I'm gonna throw a half a scoop of this Rise Vanilla Peanut Butter Cookie Protein. Now we just blend it up. I'm still mastering the consistency on this. So now we're just gonna put this in a little cup. That looks like baby food, looks disgusting. Look how green that is. Tastes good though. All right, I'm gonna put this in the freezer and then for my last meal, I'm gonna have some cod. Uh, so I need to set that out and let it thaw out so I can cook it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my watermelon because I'm getting freaking hungry again. Okay. Mmm. That is so good. No salt, sugar, anything. Just straight watermelon. Yummy. Actually, you know what? We're gonna check on our little sweet concoction here, and I may eat that while it's heating up too. All right, let's throw these puppies on there. All right, and that is gonna be it for the night, popping it off with some white fish. Can't go wrong with that. I usually eat tilapia, but I changed it up today and wanted to try cod, so yeah. Macros are on the screen. Meals are done. That's gonna be a wrap for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Hope you enjoyed the full day of eating, three weeks out. Um, it's gonna pretty much stay the same uh, like this throughout 
up until we get to peak week. Gonna gonna slam this down uh, and then gonna go do my steps and then go to bed because your boy is exhausted. So you can probably see it in my face, like prep face has hit me. So smash the like button, comment, subscribe, comment what you guys wanna see next. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to post a video next week, two weeks out, and then peak week, and then up show day. So we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for the support. Love you guys. See you in the next one.